Hey there, this is Wanabindi and today I'm gonna show you what you can do with surfaces, especially considering the light. As you can see, I have two kind of light sources. First, a clean light, which is just white, and then a little bit warmer light, and this is a little modified version I do, because it looks a little bit more natural to me. This whole light system is based on this article from Yoyo, so, th th so this is like an official version. A link is of course in the description if you want to know um, this site and want to check out um, their original source. So let's go into it and how we can do that. So we have basically just our little guy, but he does nothing, he can just walk around, he just follows our camera. Then we have our camera as usual. Um, I have mine inserted there so it does work. And then we have our little surface which I always plant now from now on here and we have a specific surface which is uh, now on top of everything because we want to do a few things. And the other thing is we have two kind of light sources, I call them light source 1 and 2, and they're empty. They're just being referenced by the surface itself. So let's get right into it. First of all we need to sort of create our surface but not here. Um, here we just say okay we have a variable and say and store it to a minus one so it's not initialized. And here is all the code, which I'm gonna delete for now because we're gonna start and do it from zero because a few things are kind of, kind of confusing for beginners. So first of all, what do we do? We check for a surface. So if we have a surface, and I just copy the pop, copy it, we say, all right, we have a surface, we need to take a few things. And these are just values which we grab from the camera, first of all. And this is just, you can do that any way you please, but this part just grabs the camera values. And just copy paste them in here so you can see them. They are one to one with the article. And what, what do we do here? We just grab the camera width, the camera height, and the X and Y position. So basically we just go into the room, say, all right, where's our camera? Mostly we'll be sitting on the top left corner. This is the X and Y. And then we just grab the width and height of the camera, which we dynamically spawn with our camera system, which we already have in place. All right, so we have all those values. Then we need to do as usually, just surface and set target. If you don't know how surfaces in principle work, I have a basics tutorial on this one. This is a little bit advanced, so um, these steps are all the same. You set a target to your surface, you do the drawing, the action, and then re you reset the surface. This is exactly what we will do. And for now, we do something new because we go and draw a complete rectangle on our camera and it's going to be black. So we just go for a black, almost a black screen and then we just poke holes with our um, sprite which I set up here. So what do we have here? Basically we just have a little sprite which is a PNG and it, had, it is white in the start and then it just fades out into a transparent nothing. But first we draw our rectangle. So we go for draw, rectangle and we go for zero, zero and then we take those values which we have this is our camera width, not here, and our camera height. And for now this wouldn't be working because it has no color assigned, so it wouldn't do anything. So we need to go and give it a color. So we draw, set color, and we go for C black because we want the whole screen to be black and then we poke white holes in there. And this we do with some additive blending and that I will explain further on. So this we have set and the next thing is we don't want it to be completely 100% black and that's why we go for draw set alpha and then we go let's say for 0.6 so it's not a completely transparent black uh, rectangle which we were drawn. Basically you could just go and say draw a rectangle extend and just go for C black C black but then you have like a black 
with the alpha on one because you cannot change the alpha on drawings uh, like this. So for example, if you go for draw rectangle, there is no um, alpha value you, you can define. And this alpha value is quite important because this is how you can do uh, the night cycles and then yeah, you just assign how much of a light system you want to have. For example, if you want to have extremely dark room, the alpha will be here quite high, so let's say one 0.8 or almost 1 and then if you have like just a very faint light you want to implement then you just go for 0.1 or something like this so just play around with those values all right the next thing we need is to do a GPU blend mode and this is um, I haven't talked about this um, the blend modding is basically just saying all right how do we want to um, draw things for example there are different kind of blend modes if you um, go B bgm normal this is just putting stuff on it and that's it if you do additive we go for for example we, additive is for example if you have different colors and you can do some adding which is quite nice so you have like like, like sort of a blending of colors subtract is well, you subtract stuff, so basically if you have black and you subtract white stuff, you have a hole where you have uh, subscribed, subtracted the black, the white stuff. And this is exactly what we we're gonna do here. And BMX, well, never used it, I don't know what it does, so, well, <laughs> you can play around with that if you like. So, how do we do that? We just go for width, and then we do have a defined object which are called our fire and there we just draw don't want to do that the whole thing so we just go for so what what is, so what is this code basically we just say all right now once we have drawn our almost black rectangle we want to subtract from the um, rectangle our white sphere which I just showed you here and this is how you do it with a BM subscribe. For example, when you start, the GPO set blend mode is always normal. Now we just say, all right, we want to subtract. So we go into our object, which is here, which is just empty, does nothing. And then on every object of the fire sphere, we just draw something and we subtract it. And here we just go for its X position. But because it's a relative thing, we always have to um, go with a minus x view so um, it doesn't stick on it. For example, if you would let it out, um, it wouldn't stay in the same place, so you have to subtract it from here. And these values are just flickering, which you do, for example, um, these are just random values, and they are the x and y scale, so basically it will just flicker all the time. If you just go for one, it will be smooth. and if not, you will have, let's say, sort of a, a better light system. And here, for example, of course, you can say, all right, how hard you want to punch um, through the black rectangle. After we already um, did our subtracting, we need to do our um, beyond mode, and we just want to go for normal. And we of course always have to do a negative version, for example, if the surface is not existing, then we need to create one and do basically the same code again. So for example, if we don't have a surface, we just grab our camera values, so we get our width and height, and there we say, alright, we want to create our surface, which we don't have to do here because well it's already existing so we create our surface with the room uh, with a camera with and with the camera height and then we say all right we want to set a target which is our surface itself we just have to do it once because well that would be pointless and then we draw the same stuff again so basically we just go for a, a almost black screen and then of course after we did that we want to reset the, tar the target and here we have to do that as well so we always have to like say all right this is the 
action the drawing this is the, the target and this is just the reset and all three steps as usual so if you watched my last video this is just the same and here target drawing reset and so there are so there are just a few things we want to do first of all we want to reset our blend mode then we want to do our draw set alpha to 1 because we reduced it now we want to well after the normal drawing we want to reset it to a 1 because it would look a little bit faint then we reset our target or our surface and then we just basically draw it this is how you do it normally let's check out if it does work it should and here we go we have our light system already set up and you can of course put as many lights as, and, and of course you can put as many light sources as you like and just define them so for example you could, you could have like a parent light object and then all the things um, all the objects which are inheriting it would just be drawing this sphere around it so how can you do a little bit more advanced or let's say more warm or different kind of light so we just go for our fire 2 and here first of all we of course want to subtract this is redundant code but just so you see what's happening here for example first of all we subtract then we do a normal blend mode so we can reset it and then we do something which is additive blending. So we go for BM, additive. And for example, we could say, all right, I don't want this white sphere to be white. I just want it to be, let's say, yellow. So we go and give it a yellow tinting. Just say for 0.6, because if you do it with a too high value, it doesn't look too good. And this should be it for example you can go of course a blend mode so you are very sure here but we don't have to do that let's check it out so as you can see we have two light sources this is the with the cold white light and this is the one where it just subtracts and punches a hole and then it does some warm additive yellow light inside so this is how you would do a light system um same thing i will do in another video it's just um the same method but just doing with a dither and without um, this um, flickering so you can punch holes in there and then you, you see a sort of a dither effect on how you could go well that was it for now have a good one one up indeed